Tax deeds are a unique investment that allows you to purchase a property without a mortgage. The government sells properties when people don't pay their property taxes and remove all existing mortgages. Now, to do well in this, you need some smart moves. First, really check out the property, know it well. Next, be a part of the auctions where these properties are sold. Have a clear budget so you only spend a little of your money. Learn the rules of your state. They're like the game rules. And lastly, be aware of the risks that might come your way so you'll be able to set and navigate this world of tax deed investing the smart way. Number one, understanding tax deeds and property taxes. Just in case you forgot, let's break down what a tax deed is. Basically, it, it's a legal paper that says, hey, if you don't pay your property taxes, the government can take your property. When someone doesn't cough up the taxes, the government can sell the property at an auction to get that money back. This whole process is called a tax deed sale, and it usually happens at auctions. Now, what are property taxes? Well, they're like a fee you pay to the local government for owning a piece of land or a house. These taxes help fund things like fixing roads, paying police officers, and other community services. If you don't pay your property taxes, the government might sell your properties for the deed to recover the money that you owe. They, although they have to follow some rules, like telling you about it and posting notices before they can do that. All right, let's talk about what happens in a tax deed sale. So when a property owner doesn't pay their taxes, the government sells their property at an auction. People bid on it and the highest bidder wins. But here's the catch. The winning bidder has to pay not just the back taxes, but also interest in the cost of selling the property. The new owner needs to cough up the whole amount, usually within a couple of days, or the sell is off. Now, if the winning bid is more than the minimum needed, the extra cash might go back to the original owner, but it all depends on the rules of the county. Sometimes the original owner can claim it, but they have to go and get it within a specific time, like one year in California or two years in Texas. Oh, in Georgia? It's about up to five years, and you might need a court order after that. Also, some states have the original owner ha give them a chance to pay their tax debt and get their property back during a redemption period, and that's called a redemptive tax deed state. Now, what happens after the tax deed sale? So here's the deal after a tax deed sale. In some states, the winning bidder gets the property title right away. There's no waiting around. But in other places, there's a redemption period, kind of like a second chance for the owner to claim their property back. They can pay back what they owe and get their property back. Sounds fair, right? But here's the catch. If they decide to go for it, they have to pay not only the winning bidder's amount from the auction, but they also have to pay some extra for interest, which can add up. If the original owner doesn't step up during the redemption time and the property deed is still hanging in the balance, the highest bidder gets the chance to keep that property. It's a waiting game, but at the end of the day, it's a win-win situation. In Idaho, for instance, they get 14 months for redemption. And in Iowa, owners have a year and nine months to make their move. So what do you get and what do you pay? All right, let's break down the numbers in a tax deed sales scenario. Imagine a property that's worth $100,000, but the owner owes $5,700 in back taxes. Now someone bids the highest at $49,000. Here's the deal. The county takes the $5,700 from that bid to cover the overdue taxes, leaving $43,300 for the original owner to claim, which is called overages. So the original owner gets that cash and the bidder receives the property to that, the title to that property. Now, if you do the math, the bidder scores a sweet deal because the property value is $100,000 but they only paid 
$49,000. That's an equity of $51,000. It's like getting a good deal on a house and making some money in the process. Key strategies for success. Okay, let's talk about an excellent way investors snag real estate deals. It's simple. Tax deed investing. Basically, people buy properties that the government is selling because the owners didn't pay their taxes. Investing in tax deeds can be a bit tricky, so you need to know what you're doing. That's where I come in as your coach. I can help guide you through the process, so here are some strategies to keep in mind if you want to dive in this tax deed investing world and make it work for you. Number one, researching the property. Check out where it is, how big it is, what type of shape it's in, and how much it could be worth. Also, make sure to dig into its title to be sure there are no surprises like liens or other issues. It's like kicking the tires before you buy a car. Just making sure everything's solid. Number two, showing up for the tax deed bidding. All right, here's a tip for you. Show up at a tax deed auction. It's like being in the front row for a crash course in how things work and who you're up against. Plus, it's your chance to see what kind of properties are up for grabs and how much they're going for. Think of it as getting a sneak peek into the real action. Being there in person gives you the lowdown on the process, the players, and the prices. Number three, budgeting for tax deed success. Here's a smart move in a tax deed investing game. Set yourself a budget and stick to it. Think of it like having a spending limit so you don't go overboard and end up with a property that doesn't bring you the bucks. Having a budget is like your game plan to make sure you're making the right moves without breaking the bank. So before you jump in the tax deed auction excitement, figure out how much you're willing to spend. Stay true to that budget and make your investment decisions with a clear and financial strategy. Number four. Understanding your state's tax deed laws. Every state has its own set of laws, so it's vital to get the lowdown on your state specifics. That means understanding how the auctions roll, how long you've got for redemption, and what steps to take if things head toward foreclosure. It's like knowing the playbook to make sure you're making the right moves. Number five, being smart about tax deed investing. Picture this. You might end up losing your investment if the property doesn't sell or if there are surprises like liens. So before you jump in, take a good look at these risks. It's like weighing the pros and cons before making a big decision. Make sure you're okay with the possibility of things not going as planned. Investing in tax deed demands a strategic approach. And let's break it down using Florida as an example. Start by digging into the property details, its location, its size, its conditions, and then check its potential value and make sure the title is clean with no hidden surprises. Attend the tax deed auction and set a budget to keep things in check. Lastly, understand Florida's specific laws, especially regarding the redemption period and foreclosure process. Unlike other states, Florida is a hybrid state, meaning you can purchase tax deeds in tax liens. So make sure you're buying in a county that gives you a deed and not a tax lien certificate. By following these steps, you're stacking the odds in your favor for a successful tax deed investment in the Sunshine State or any other location. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to click the link below, like, and subscribe. We'll have another video for you soon. Happy investing.